Alabama. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. Throws complete. Big loss. They lose seven yards on that play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He's going to air it long. And it's caught. And he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. That receiver had no problem running by this secondary. With the speed this kid has, you've got to keep him in front of you. Because if he gets behind you, you're in serious trouble. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Number 17, the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and ten. Mike, check, 33, 33. Here we go, red, 18. but he's going to lose yards here. That's a loss of about three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Deep pass to the end zone. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 75-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 7-0. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. From their own 30-yard line, second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. That makes it second and 10. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 36-yard line. Mark 55, Mark 55! And he's tackled after positive yardage. to the receiver. Out of bounds, around the 44-yard line. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. First down, 10 to go. 
Ball on the 44-yard line. Just throws this one away. that football that he shouldn't have made the throw and that's the thing when you're under that kind of pressure it takes away that one split second you need to scan the area so you know where it's a safe throw from their own 35 yard line first down georgia is up seven and he just gets rid of it even though they didn't sack him the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass if you can get in there and disrupt the pocket then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers they come out in a five-wide set. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Tackle around the 41-yard line. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. Tight end left, tight end left. I'm trying to collect. Take four, take four. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Setting up blockers or running backs got it on the screen and he shoved out of bounds at the 42 yard line The screen pass goes nowhere. Well, you're gonna take your hat off to the defense all week They preached over and over again how they were not gonna let this kid use his speed in the open field And they really shut him down that time third down now and They need to get it down to the 31 and they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver run. Quick throw out to the receiver. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28. pressure and they make the stop the 10 yard line I credit the quarterback on that pass he made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down first down and they are very close to tying this thing up Quickly, touchdown! <laughs> we'll be tied with the extra point. And he converts the extra point. A nice six-play, 41-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. We're even at seven in this one. He sends this one deep. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 22-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he's going to be sacked for a loss. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. 
Defense looking for another sack here on this second and 13 situation. He gets rid of this one. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. He lets it go. Brought down at the 46-yard line. First down. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. Three down, three down. Mike check, 33. Ready! Green 45. Nice run, and he's brought down. That brings him second and five. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. We played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7-7. Welcome back to the action. Just about set to start quarter number two, and we're all tied up. Three down, three down. Mike six, 33. 33. Ready. <laughs> Tackle made around the 29-yard line. Second down and six. Ball in the 29. He's taken down at the 19. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And down he goes, right around the 10 yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Takes the ball right, and they get him in the backfield for a loss. This is the 10th play of this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That is just sound fundamental football right there, making it look so easy. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Hey, check Mike 33, check Mike 33. Ready! Ready. Players in there, got it, touchdown. They had a mismatch and exploited it for the score. If you're right, the tight end had that one all the way and there wasn't much the defense could do. Tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Runs it right, nice pickup. From their own 30 yard line. Second down. Caught out in the open. And he's tackled around the 36 yard line.
He'll get the call again. He fights forward to about the 39. That's again in three on the play. That makes it second and eight. From their own 39-yard line, it's second down. Knocked out of bounds at about the 41. Now it's third and six coming up. Ball on the 41. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And he's taken down around the 45-yard line. Nice gain, but not enough for the first down. Yeah, that's a nice play there. They did everything right except get enough yards for the first down. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Georgia is up by a touchdown. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. And he's level at the 32. Number six with the tackle at the 32-yard line. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll bring him down at about the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From the 47-yard line, first down. All day, every day, any day. Mike Sick. Throws incomplete. Quick out to his receiver. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. But they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice gain. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Mike Sick, 33. 33. Up the middle for a nice game. Gain of four on the play. First down. Come on, come on. Georgia is up a score. Ready! Tackle around the 23-yard line. That one's more than good enough for the first down. Well, Brad, that is a great play by the quarterback to find his target past the marker to keep this drive moving. He gets rid of this one. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Five wide. Rose to the receiver, got it for the touchdown. He's rung up three touchdown tosses in the half. This quarterback is going to continue to tear him up until they get some pressure on him. He 
splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 10 play, 80 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? He's in trouble. That's a great tackle at the 17-yard line. Loss of eight yards on the play. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's put that team on the clock. My 52. And two. Accident. Seven. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. So at the end of the half, Georgia in front, 21-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. This team's now got a hill to climb in the second half. We anticipated it being a tight game, but as you watch this team late in the half, you started to see guys looking for answers. You could almost sense it. They were looking at who's going to take ownership, who's going to lead and make a play. Somebody has to step up right now, David. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you come into games, you, you feel like you have this huge game plan and all this stuff you want to accomplish, and sometimes it doesn't work, and sometimes you got to start changing things around, and sometimes it's simple. Sometimes the quarterback needs to come in the huddle and say, hey, guys, you want to protect me a little better? You know, you... They need to say some things that, that makes people feel uncomfortable sometimes to get a rise at them and knowing your team. Sometimes middle linebackers have to get the defense all in tight and say, listen, you need to make sure you're taking care of this. They've been killing us on this route. It's your fault. Step up. The leaders in the huddle a lot of times can say the things that the coaches can't and get a different reaction. Well, maybe it's time I say something to you, too. It's time for you to pick up your game at halftime. That's it for us here in the studio. What are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on? Yeah, I'm going to kick back and watch all these monitors. We'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now. Time for the second half with Brad and Kirk. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Georgia's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Blue 14! So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, 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 eat. Green eye, green eye. He's hit and taken down. Great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. From their own 38-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Black five! Caught with room to work. Excellent job by this young quarterback of making the defense pay for bringing both outside linebackers. That's composure right there. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. That makes it second and two. It's 
So it's second down and about two yards to go. Under pressure, and they get the sack. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's one of those as an offensive lineman. When the film study starts to come around, you're going to kind of sink in your chair and just hope they don't call you out because you're going to get embarrassed on Monday on that one. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 38s. Three down, three down. Three down. Hey, Mike 52. Mike 52. Mike 52. <laughs> He's got it with room to run. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other, and you can see it in the way he threw that pass. Here they go, first and goal, down by a couple of possessions. Under heavy pressure. Throws it and it's caught for the touchdown. He hits the PAT. So an eight-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play call on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 21-14. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Georgia is up seven. And off to the right. Good outside run there. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Man left, man left. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. Game of 16 on the play. First down. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Fires it again to his tight end. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. From the 41 yard line, it's second down. And they'll get him in the backfield. Dumps it out left to the running back. Two yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. it all going long and he got it touchdown bulldogs and kirk that was a beautiful pass and a nice catch well this is one of those plays you just sit back and admire the quarterback threw the ball perfectly and again the speed of the receiver is the difference in this play and he adds the extra point a nice six play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Georgia's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this. And another great performance by him individually and for this offense. These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time into trying to put a plan together, and to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. So the sack makes this a second and long. to haul it in to the 10. Tackle made right around the two-yard line. First and goal from the two. Let's see if they just don't try to power their way into the end zone here. Throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They come out in a goal line set. Dog four. Green eight. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. converts the extra point. Alabama gets set to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and then come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. Last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to play a little bit more on their ground game. Three-yard gain by the running back. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Georgia up seven points. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 28-21, Georgia. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. This is a great punt blocking team and it looks like they're gonna try to get to this one. It's 
been a good day for this linebacker, making a lot of plays. Well, this guy seems to just be the spark plug for this defense. They seem to go and they play depending on the vibe and energy that he brings. And today, boy, he is bringing it. And he's shown tremendous effort and determination in racking up these tackles. Well, all of his good plays have added up to his team enjoying the lead. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Give to the tailback. And he's taken down at about the 31. That is a loss of one yard on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Second and 11 coming up now. Ball on the 31. He's under pressure. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. The senior makes the catch. He scores. What a play. The extra point to tie this game up. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. Oh, they really needed that one, and he dropped it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Fires quick out to the receiver and he can't make the grab. Number 82 has the intended receiver on the play. That brings us third and ten. You expect this every time you're here and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He wants it all. And he went way up and he's got the interception. The defense now has two interceptions in the game. I think there was a miscommunication there on the offensive side of the ball. I think maybe the receiver ran the wrong route, but regardless, still a great play by the defense. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Lost a four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. Impressive pass rush right there. These hits take a toll on a quarterback, physically and psychologically. The blockers have got to do a better job of taking care of him. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike 52, Mike 52. Wants to go long and does. He's been destroying the secondary today, racking up big yardage. That gives him 200. And the defense has even shifted the secondary over to try to provide a little more help. Just hasn't mattered. This receiver is still having his way with the defense. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. He 
He makes it to the nine. So he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That brings him second and goal. Mike 52, Mike 52. Let's go, Dog four. Nice. Watch down, and he's going to get sacked. That's a loss of six yards. That makes it third and goal. From the 15-yard line, third down, less than three minutes in the game. They'll work the left. The 10. He makes his way out to about the six. That's a deep nine on the ball. That brings us fourth and goal. He gets it up, and he got it. And so they take the lead with that field goal. Big time kick late in the game. That was a clutch kick to put them up on top. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. The finish line's in sight. Let's see who wants this one more. Sometimes late in a game like this, we get so focused on the offense and whether or not the offense can get in field goal range and maybe have a shot to win it with a touchdown that I think sometimes we overlook the defense. And I think the worst thing you can do defensively right now is be passive and sit back and almost a prevent defense. When you play a prevent defense and sit back, it makes it very easy on the offensive line and quarterback to execute the offense. Maintain your aggressiveness as a defense late in the game with the lead. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's taken down at the 27. He's got 100 yards in the game now. You got to love this quarterback receiver combo. Talking to these guys before the game, they told me they spend about an hour after every practice perfecting the routes. It sure shows. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. He's tackled at about the 39 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Flag 68! Flag 68! Brought down at the 36-yard line. He's up to 300 yards passing. You can tell the quarterback's done a really good job of preparing because he's read the defense like a pro all day long. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36. Just over a minute left. Fires to his receiver, first down. Gaining 13 yards. First down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Here we go. Flat right. Quick out to his receiver. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Three down, three down. Mike, check, 33. Ready! 33. Easy, easy, easy. Up the middle for a nice game. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice run up the middle. The Bulldogs call a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's intercepted, and that should do it. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. From their own 20-yard line, first down. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. George is out of timeouts. Two 
The offense lining up in a victory formation, and he takes a knee. Alabama is up a field goal. Just a tremendous job by that defense, and their coordinator did a super job there to keep it this close in this ball game. And now the offense has got a chance to win it. A great one to win, a really tough one to lose. 31-28, Alabama. Georgia. That brings this broadcast to a close. Free A Sports and Kirk Herb Street. I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.